Nava Subiza of Bawangayo Ice Breaking Word of the Week. I promise to always give you an ice breaking word or information every week. Father's law. Today I'm going to speak about Father's law over Mumaka. The Father's law is to provide spiritual, financial, emotional, and physical foundation for his family. He is to be a role model for his children. And loving the guide and support them. He should have in a way that would inspire his son to be like him. And his daughter to marry someone who upholds values like her dad. But anyone who can father a child. But being a father takes time. It takes much effort and love. It involves being around at all the stages of the child's development. It involves being around at all the Leader as well as the role model. No kubedo yo atandi kiruako o mwana kwa sinzira o kubecho chana beda mama. Being a father demands sacrifices and in, intentionality. O kubeda tata chitwa lokwe wa yo sadaka no kole bintu wa denga binzo kuny giriza nenga choteke do kola. There are so many absent fathers. Batata banji abali womu chisikirize who have abdicated their responsibility to the mother of their children. Fathers play a role in every child's life. That cannot be filled with others. I beg your pardon. That cannot be filled by others. This all can be large impact on a child. And they shape him or her into the person they become. Kakachibatata, so some of the fathers today all who are here, we may have not got a chance to be prepared according to the way the words have been read here. Likewise to you, the children, we may have not given you the services you have had here and perhaps you ended up hating us. And probably you end up adore and uh, admiring other people where you've gone through like studies and perhaps we end up becoming useless fathers. But we'd like to let you know that as more we go deeper into learning and getting to know all these things, we shall become the fathers you wish to have. So the fathers who have been doing this, we need to applaud them and then cheer them up. Uh, to you, the children, your responsibility, number one, is to forgive us. 
where we wronged you or we did not act according to your Because that is a sign of your healing, especially in your life for the life to come. Now, when children do not forgive their parents, they sow a seed even to their coming generation that even their children will not have a room to forgive them. The second thing I told you, children, what you have to do is to accept us, the fathers, or the parents, the way we are. If, if, if you are if we did not prepare for you enough wealth where to begin from to forge life, accept the little that is there and begin from there. Uh, some parents some parents uh, what some children do to their parents uh, they feel offended and shy to introduce their parents before their friends and their other colleagues not even wishing to visit them when they happen to shift to other places. They feel they did not accept them as their parents the way they were. But I want to say I want to request you children, accept your parents the way they are, whether they're not educated, whether they never prayed the law in your learning, but they sow the seed that brought forth you on earth. You know, the, why, the reason why the devil so much hurts for the man, because we are the one that bears the seed that bring forth someone on earth. Even if, even if you are young, you are married, you are Much as he did not pray much role in your uh, beginning, just accept him the way he is because he's the one who brought the seed that brought forth you on earth. How many of you have understood that? Now you can clap for me. Let us stand up on our feet. Amen. Amen. Bamuita Yesu. Bamuita Yesu. Bamuita Yesu. Bamuita, 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 Yesu, Bamuita, Yesu, Bamuita, Yesu, Bamuita, Yesu.
Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we come before you and your hands just the way you see us. Want to be answered unto you, O oh God. Father, may you come and speak unto us. May you come and speak to us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap to the Lord. We are learning in the morning service, and that's where we're going to begin from. Character development. Character development. Christ like character is the ultimate goal of all church Bible study programs all over the world. Programs of Bible study or Lawrence Yonna or Mulamu Mukuru Kekulabanga Avantu. Bafuna Embala Eya Christo. Developing the character of Christ is the life's most important task. Because it's the only thing we will take with us into eternity. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13 says. This is our poor road. Till we all come to the unity of the faith. And of the knowledge of the Son of God. To a perfect man. To the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Paulo Now, Paul tries to show us here that the main purpose behind the scripture that is, uh, that, that is written here uh, is for the people to mature and we all reach at a level, at, at the same level of faith. And that measure or level of understanding Christ with the understanding of every individual. When you have matured or become a perfect person, reaching at the measure of understanding and knowing the child of God. Now that is the desired goal that the church yearns to achieve unto every believer that accepts Christ. Character is not built in a classroom. But in the circumstances of life, the classroom Bible studies is, is, is simply a place which helps us to identify character qualities. Bible study mm. And learn how character is developed. No kuiga erembale ne ya Kristo to ji developing to tiamu bula. Like now we have come and sat like to be amba koku vumbula no kuzula qualities a zimba character in your life. We just help you to discover and identify the qualities that can help you develop a character of Christ. When you understand how God uses circumstances. To develop our character. We can respond correctly when God places us in character development situations. 
awonno tuba tusobola okwatula no ku responding obulungi singa katonda atuswala mu mbeera oba mu bifo omuli embeera ezitwa ezagalo okutuyigiriza okukula mu mbala o character building circumstances oba embeera ezizimba embala za fe nga ba kristai character development always involves a choice ah uh, mukuzimba embala mutwalira muno okusala wo so when we make the right choice bulirwe tukola okusala wo kutufu then our character grows more like of christ no recho embala ya fe ekula ne fanana ngi ya kristo then for when we choose to respond to frustration in god's way no renso ngi yo bulirwe tusala wo okwanu kuleri embere zibazitwa nganze mungeri ya katonda of following our natural inclination nga oba okugoberera ngo buntu bwa fewe buli we develop character tumalirizanga tuzimbye embala therefore if we want to know what character looks like lorenzo ngee bobo yagala okulaba obo kumanya embala efana netia a good place to start with is a list of nine character qualities that apostle paul enumerated in the book of galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 ekife kitufu kyo ino kutandikira mu chechechefo chotusanga ebintu bino omwenda ebiza ebitulage embala nga paulo bwe yabituwandikira mu kitabo kya bagalatia esula 5 9 character qualities bintu bitano ebyoleka ebintu mwenda ebyoleka embala in galatian 5 bagalatia 5 verse 22 through 23 abiri mu bibiri okulwa abiri mu esatu this is how paul wrote But the fruit of the spirit is love. Is joy. Is peace. Long suffering. Kindness. Kindness. Goodness. Faithfulness. Gentleness and self-control. No Against such there is no law. Alitaliebyo tewali mateka. Paulo yabinyonyola anti bino bila bibala bya muntu moyo gwe 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 ngo mulokole bo bitambulira mu bikuyamba ko kufuka omulokole wa Bible. Now Paul now lets and tells us that these are fruits of the spirit that dwells in you. Once you walk by them they help to shape your life as a born again. Now they are, they are what we call spiritual gifts. Now this is the power. It is the special grace. Special ability. That is given to us in order to execute God is divine work using his power. That those ones Paul speaks about them that those are just gifts of the Holy Spirit. Those ones are in the concern of the Holy Spirit. But these folks, now, now you the born again it is you who decides to say i am going to live with these fruits i am going to bear these fruits and, and they are the ones that qualifies you to go to eternal life the first float is love Unconditional love. In the world today, there is a fake love. Just planned love with another intention. The, the love which is so calculated and calculative. Calculated love. Somebody stand there for you but when he's targeting something at the end of it all. Someone befriends you but 
targeting something from you. But the love we are talking about is this unconditional one. One man sang before you got saved some time back. This is how he used to sing. Give me, give me your unconditional love. Da la da 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 la, da la da 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 la. Give me, give me your unconditional love. Da da la da da la. I don't know other words, but the lyrics move like that. Unconditional love. O kwa galo kutali kubo kwa kurizo. You love somebody without expecting any gain out of him or her. You walk by the vehicle, you look for an ambulance, you pay it, take the person to the hospital, you make a, you make a statement in the mortuary, yet you don't have a relationship with that person. You have a relationship with that person. You have a relationship with that person. There is this love of the marriage. Even in that circle, there is that one which is calculated and the one which is genuine. We always tell the, the new married couples, what do you like about this person? What do you expect? I just feel I love this person, Musumba. Because if you love somebody because of the, the hips, eh? one day this person will fall in an accident. And this and part is removed, eh? including the breast. And it goes on the stick. Now the children will be singing that person. And Jane also has one leg. Just walking. Can you move on with Jen with one leg? Others just calculate their move. Say, mm, family they are wing. They are family. Mm, family we are soma. They are family is educated. Mm. Even the rest of the you may be small and you may not gain what you are targeting. Unconditional love. It's what God expects you to bear that will help you enter the, etern uh, the eternal life. Unconditional love. Agape love. The second thing that will help you enter heaven is joy and to be joyous with what you have. You, you are a born again, but you are appreciative with the little you have, with that button phone that you have. As well as you are appreciative with that one room, the house that you are renting. You are appreciative with that church that seems to be small where you fellowship from. You don't even fear to host people in your home. You, you, are, you are very happy and you know, okay with it. God expects you to be happy. Happy about your ministry, Amakavu. about your home, Obufumbo. about your marriage, e about your work, whether you go through what kind of situation, Besigala, remain happy and joyous about it. And you raise up your hands in the air and you for the far that he may have taken you. E that one will help you attain eternal life. E Being happy and pleased with what you have. Be happy about what you do. Others don't even feel happy about their children. They are looking at their neighbor's children. You see a married man distance. walking with a woman, but they are like in social distance. The man is in the other distance. 
And the woman is observing a distance. But all of a sudden, you find after some months, the woman is very as solemn as she's producing. But on the road, they don't walk together. You are not happy about what you are. Every time the man is saying, I took a cluster and I left a bunch. Rejoice in what you have. That one will help you go to heaven because you'll be happy all the time and praised with what you have. Thirdly, is peace. Peace. The world or the country does not give peace. Stability. But works hard to make sure there is stability. Government makes sure that the military police officers move around. But inside your heart, government the government cannot control the peace in you. Bring stability. A peaceful person is that person who is satisfied with the little he or she has. And you are appreciative of the little God has so far given you. You look at somebody and you wonder how he grew up from. Lack of, lack of satiety in your heart makes you even take loans that you cannot pay because you just take risks in taking all those loans. Others will, others will borrow even what is not easily borrowed. You borrow the bra, the underpants. But you can walk when you are twisting it up and down. Get a piece of clothes and jerk it a little bit. Who will come to understand that you put there a jack? But you borrow a black. Then a top. A skirt. How about the ones you have? Are they not? Flawless? Be satisfied with the little you have so far. Character development. You have, you have a radio and a small TV. The pictures are there. Even that one is a TV. You have a chocolate stove, you have a, a kettle, a, a span. All oh, those are utensils that are used by other people in their houses. Be satisfied with, the, with what you have. When you come before the Lord, you begin praying and watching <inaudible> with a, a satisfied heart. The prayers of <inaudible> intercessors today, they come <inaudible> with unsaved <inaudible> hearts. They begin to pray. Lord, I will not serve you if you don't build for me a house. If the husband cannot build for me a house, if he does not introduce me, Lord, no. My God, no. I will not allow that. You don't have peace. You don't have the joy. Number four. Patience. We don't withstand only simple things. But even in, uh, even hard things, we endure them. The people in our homes at times. They are easy. Some of the employees and the employers are not easy people at all. But we have to endure and bear with their characters. 
A patient person is always strong, but hopeful in his mind. He's strong and he's saying, I will go through this tough situation. Let us be firm. I know in the near future things shall be well. A strong person does not give up all his hope quickly. Every time this person is seeing things changing positively. So, don't put in place strings attached. That Lord, you first do for me this, and then I serve you diligently. If Lord does for me this, I will serve him. Me, you see. If God happens to build me a house, and builds for me a house, Lord, I will serve you. Hey. Even after you will pray other things, you will ask hey, now other things. Kindness hey, has to manifest on you. I told you about the lady got married in a certain home. Found a child belonging to the husband. Child. She was a girl. I say, it said I cannot clean the feces of a woman's child. Whenever this child could uh, defecate, the woman says, turn your bum. Brings now a broom and he cleans the bums of the child. He said, I don't have that time of touching in your child. But now we need to show kindness to people. Goodness. Is someone who has matured in the things of God. Someone who has got rid of habits. At times, the clear evidence is rushing so much. They say there is a job in Kamocha. Put for me some water. I'm going to bathe and go there. I'm going to Kamocha. You will direct me when I've reached there. Hello, boda boda. Hey, come and get me there. Oh, Papa Chenyo. Why do you rush before you think? There's a lady. There's a lady. The parents got a man. And they asked him to bring the dowel and he brought it. So they called our daughter at home. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Naru. You have to be here. Who has called? How do you call me? Who am I? Am I not your father? Don't ask me other questions. I want you here tomorrow. The daughter came and told me tomorrow, uh, they have called me tomorrow to go home. I said, can you give me a minute and I pray over it? I prayed. The Lord, the Lord told me, don't allow her to go. There is a plot and evil one against her. I told her, don't go. I have refused. I said, I said, I am not coming. The pastor has refused me from coming. And when she called later, they said, we had got for you a husband. He was here, he had brought things. Now, why did you want to die without getting married? That rushing into things. So do you do that? Speed control. First control your speed in everything you take. Goodness. If it is your job, you will find it there. But the people today, born again, you know what we do? You tell us after things have gone wrong. No, no, Papa. Because, but at that time when you were rushing, you don't tell us Say neighbor in a speed control. Control the speed. Others lack of control. You have visited a home. 
It's like as if you have spent five years. However much you are sharp, are you a piece of wood? You talk and you cover up the entire house because you are good at talking. Control your tongue. Keep quiet at least for a while. Studying First study the environment in which you are. I have visited in so many white homes. You visit a, a home of a white person. Don't, say, don't, mind, don't, no. don't mind, don't move the shoes. But, but all, all of a sudden you see the one, for him he moves his and put them in the corner. But for me, you are flattering me, you are telling me to come and enter with my shoes. You have visited a home with a child. Someone has a small piece of meat in a fridge. Mama, 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 You make the home where you And the child becomes a problem. He's pulling the TV. He's pulling the chairs. He's pulling the mats. The files are being pulled down. This child is so active and playful. This is an active baby. Oh, active. What do you mean, Zabujuanga? Let that child become active in your home and destroy yours and we see. Parents learn to have manners. You visit someone who's home and is praying when shall he or she eat? He said, may I eat meat? Whenever I visit a home, I must eat meat. <laughs> I must eat beef. I take milk. I, I hate that one with water. Can't buy from your home. Nyamasiya ya boiro. Tali ya boiro. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okolo burundi. Oburundi. Okukiriza. Faith. Whereby no situation can take you away from Christ. Even if you lose a husband, you remain a born again. Even if you bury around six of them, you remain a born again. Others even grew lines. That if I, have, I, I, don't if, I don't know even if, if I can live by losing a mere child. The people who lost their loved ones, many. But they are celebrating and saying, Yes, I don't know what I would do. You know, at, in our family, I don't know what will happen I if I fail Maybe those ones marked me wrongly. They marked you wrongly. You can fail the exams. It is no more. But having faith. Gentleness. Is not to compare yourself with your achievements or attainments. A church with gentle people is easily passed. They can tell that one has six degrees. But he's a very humble in a chair. But there are those with one degree in particular churches, but swinging the leg. Every day he's talking when about the university. When I was at the university. Oh, when I was my God, my God. One degree. But he's not gentle at all. How about those who have PhDs? What will they do? A church with gentle people is easily passed. They say that one has an arcade. But he's looking like as if he has a market store. Others have has a four rentals. You know, I have rentals somewhere. 
He wants everybody to know about it. He reaches the village and removes the phone. Look, I have so far put two, uh, four houses and I'm putting up more houses. Those who have arcades are quiet there. Gentleness. Those who are not gentle even ask the qualifications of the pastor pastoring them. We need to save this young man. No, no, no. What they bring biology issues. They bring economics. They confess. We expect you to be gentle, you man, you woman, control your temper. Another one is self-control. Self-control. In government. In government. Orientation program. If you have become a, a member of parliament or a minister, they first take you for an orientation program. Why? Why? Information you get after you go get every because they want to prepare you so that when you begin speaking to people, you don't confuse the people with what you speak. So how President you are. If President Museveni was to come here, when he has put on dreads, with black shades, he has put on that cartoon. That cartoon trouser is tight on the body. He has put on a coat as tall as that I of the Kekar. The shoe is like that of Abdulu. And he said, please welcome, welcome the presence of Uganda. People can't take a single speech from him. They just look at him from the head to the shoe. Even us born again. Some people marvel about us. The preacher, an evangelist, a street preacher, how he is dressed up on the street. He's a woman, but you can see every yes, capital on the body. He has put on a tight dress. You can and see all the veins and capillaries. Another one I put on a trouser. Here it is swollen a little bit. He has been boiled a little bit. You find that no one is interested in the gospel the person is sending. They say, go and preach to your fellow hooligan is not us. Whenever we don't have a set of control, people get tired and they stumble themselves on us. The sitting posture, you are a lady. Not but you sit badly, you a man, but you sit one leg in Kotido. You sit on TV as if the legs have got earthquake in them. What, are, what does that one communicate? I just go on another station. He's just playing with the legs. You, you, if you're in a house where there is mud, you wonder. Being careful and self-conscious. How do you package your body? You are walking in the road. Who are your friends that you hang out and you walk with? You are a young girl. You are still studying. You have not yet gone into relationship. But you allow every young boy in the village to, no, to touch your body. The Bible warns us not to wake up love before it's appropriate time. 
Because love is something you cannot resist so powerful. Self-control is so important. Now, as I wind up, allow me to use the 10 minutes as I finish. Left 71. God is far more concerned with our character than with our comfort. Katonda afayonyo eri embalaza fe okusingo kwebera mumbere ye matiza. That's why he allows the following kinds of character building circumstances. Yenso ngala cha kiriza embera zino ezituyamba kuzimba embala okujja mubula mu bwafe. To happen in our lives. Okubera onga ziba ombula mu bwafe. Number 1. Esoka. Character building circumstances. Is conflict. No At times conflicts come and uh, attack you in your home. You pray, you fast for them to go, but they remain there. Yet because they came purposely to develop a particular character in you. You may be somebody in a home and a thorn in the body. But yet that person has been brought in your home for God to use that person to make you serious and genuinely born again. The person is so disorganized. But God brought that person in your home to make you good believers and Christians. Secondly, build, character building circumstances, disappointment. You make an interview, they appreciate you, but they tell you you did not go through. You are disappointed. No, you And you are disappointed. But after the disappointment, have you remained born again or you have changed? Allow such circumstances to come to us so that a Christian or a Christ like character is developed in us. No, 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 no. You will do every interview. No vacancy for you. After being disappointed all day, what is the ingredient of your prayer? You know what others do? He that spends the all of that week without coming to church. To the I'm already disappointed. Yes, God was him. How many interviews have I sat? Where am I now? God is not so much interested in your comfort life. He is not ready to pay all the time. He is desiring to build a character in you that will help you attain eternal life. Character is difficult at times. Uh, being sick losing a loved one. Your shop catches fire. They steal your bag, including all your documents. That time, which ones do you utter out of your mouth? God allows them to happen. Secondly, temptation time. Jesus said, whenever you are praying, pray like this. Pray like this. Lead, lead us into, not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But there is when the Holy Spirit leads you in a tempting situation. And you go into that situation. How do you retaliate or respond? Second last. Times of dryness. In the ministry. In the ministry. 
There is when the spirit allows a particular situation to happen and it appears as though God is not at work. Born again who don't understand such situations, they end up even shifting and leaving <laughs> the church. They say, let's go to the other church at Capernaum. Maybe they have the anointing. Dryness time. It, it happens even to us. And you feel as if you are not even anointed to be a leader. There is when things become stuck in your life. How do you speak when things have become stuck in your life? How do you retaliate? Dryness time. How do you retaliate? We even reach an extent of soliciting money for a mere microphone. You take six months. Uh, the one who has contributed much is offering 300. Others say that church has no even anointing. Let us try the other side. The other one can even contribute 8 million in one service. Now you tell me about this fake church. Remain there. In a home, there is when the dry season comes and everything becomes tight. A child is sent home for school fees and sits at home for, for almost two years or maybe two semesters. It can happen when you are born again, you are a minister and you even lack school fees for the children. But which words do you speak when you are lacking school fees at that moment? My child cannot sit at home. You go to uncle at Wikwe. You go to Butambala to the other aunt. You make calls. You end up even uh, yeah, involving a mad person. The one who is mad. Oh, my child. My child. And you end up even going to a dam. You are asking for help. One year is not the whole life. Born again, you have made decisions and end up doing things that are not working. The child is possible. The child can sit for a year, goes and does some work, and comes back and things go back to normal. No man, you have not, not said anything to the child that you have not. No, you go so and you, you make get loans. From there they bring the not police. Then you run away. Dryness season. The last season is the delaying season. Yes, season. Is the delaying season. Yes, season. In a home, things can delay. You want to build. For me, there are many things I want to do. I'm winding up. Listen to me carefully. I have a very big program of the lists of the things I want to do. I always pray for them every day. But many of them have stood. I may die when I've not done them. My children will accomplish them. If they don't do them, the grandchildren will accomplish them. If the grandchildren cannot do them, that will that won't be the end. God will give us another grace. But I should remain a born again. Because you divorce and go. 
whom are you threatening? We are tired of being threatened all the time. Haven't we seen those who are still renting years, and they are still born again in renting 30 years? Others were even very good at learning, were disciplined, but they failed to get school fees. Did they die? No. I can't bring a graduation party here in such a house. You, you can imagine, you look at her teeth, oh, his teeth. He's saying, I cannot bring a graduation party here. Did, have you ever made any money? Eh? To some of us who wanted to be good, but things delayed. Remain Remain born again. Allow every circumstance to build a character. At the end of it all, God will mold you into a powerful minister who has no spot, who has no wrinkle, who will glorify the name of the Lord. The one the Lord is going to say, Thank you. We are faithful in small things. Enter into the glory of the Lord. That are prepared for your father and your grandchildren. Please let us wait and believe and trust in the glory to come. Don't compare it with the daily needs that you have today. Failure is not final. You can start again. David was born and died at 25. I'm now old. I've never seen a righteous being forsaken by God. God will not forsake you. Our God will not forsake you. He will not abandon you. Our God will not leave you alone. He will not forsake us. If he leaves, we shall face tomorrow. If God leaves, we shall build houses. If God leaves, we shall give us to children. If he leaves, we shall make weddings. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yakuba Odecha Kuba Mola Mo Yeye Sela Chentia Kuba Mani Yari Nenyo Maso Kuba Mola Mo Jatula Kuba Mola Mo Kuba Mola Mo Kuba Mola Mo Raise up your voice. Appreciate God for what you are. Appreciate Him for your children. Appreciate Him for your home. Appreciate Him for your children. Of your pastor. Thank Him for your children. Father, we come before you. Lord, we thank you. For you are alive. Our tomorrow shall be. If you live. We shall walk. If you live long, things shall be possible. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's clap for Jesus.